grinding like a stew. Yeah. Got to know myself and realized on the truth. Yeah. Walked outside with a brand new dude. Man, yeah. I'm feeling brand new. New me, who you? Who you? Still kid, finding like a stew. Yeah. Got to know myself and realized on the truth. Yeah. Walked outside with a brand new dude. Man, I'm feeling brand new. New me, hey, yo, who you? To my show. Another sky, hey. man, the blessing coming. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my show. It's good to be back, y'all. Hey, you guys, I am here today, y'all. I am, I'm excited to do this one, you guys. Um, This is one that I have been trying, I've been trying to get to, you know, I've been doing this for a minute, trying to go out here with all my reactions and trying to figure out how do I get more intimate with you guys and talk and, you know, you know, I want to talk more and, you know, interact with you guys a little more so the best way for me to do that is to get to know you guys so get so so you guys get to know who i am get to know me so this one is a q and a for me get to know me what's up y'all okay so first we're gonna start out with uh we're gonna start out with uh i have a, a game of i have a hundred questions but i'm not about to do all 100 right now um but I am going to pick, uh, I'm going to go down a list and I'm going to pick my top 10 one. and this is going to be my 20. 10. So we are going to go down the list. Okay. So, um, if I would have to say, okay, so we're going to start one. Okay. So number one, what's my name? Okay. Uh, my real name is Marcus. My name is Marcus. You probably hear me say it a lot of times I get, I get a little messed up. I'll be like, Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah is my middle name. It is my middle name. It is something that is very unique to me. Uh, funny story about my middle name is I was supposed to be Isaiah. I was supposed to be named Isaiah. And I was what you call a breech baby. And what a breech baby is, if you don't know, a breech baby is a baby that comes upside down, comes, you know, all tangled in the cords and things like that. So when that happened, I messed my mom up to the point where she had to get me cut out and all out so she was so drugged up with the drugs she didn't remember how to spell isaiah so she just wrote what she wrote and whatever they wrote they wrote isaiah and i love it it's been something i've when i found out what my middle name was i was like i love that i ain't never heard of that before so yeah that's my middle name isaiah and my name is marcus um second question if you could live anywhere where would it be <laughs> that's a good question Okay, so I am a country, but I'm from the country, but I want water. I need two houses because I need two places to be. I, I want one in the in, in the mountains in the top, just away from everybody. And then I would love to have like a beach, a beautiful beach home where I can just be looking right at the ocean, just to have that, that ocean view. When you look out your window, you just see ocean, you just see water. It's just, that's like the best scenery to me it's just to see water it's just it's beautiful it's like a calming relaxing you know water is such a it's a beautiful thing like i love water you know say so i swim okay a lot of people are like can you swim yes i can swim i can swim okay <laughs> um what is your biggest fear my biggest fear is failing. Okay, so my biggest fear is failing. So I am a workaholic, if you call that. I grew up with nothing. I've had nothing. And I've never had nobody there to help me when I didn't have anything. So me, I'm a workaholic. The thing about me is I like to make sure that I got things for myself. And I can maintain myself. So when I'm not there, oh, I'm a crazy person. So my biggest fear is not being able to take care of me and that's 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 my biggest fear so that's something that i strive not to ever have to fear that because you know i look on the street and i see homeless people every day and that's just like the scariest thing to me is just to see that there's a point where i can't take care of myself so i gotta say that's my biggest fear um what motivates you to work hard <laughs> huh that same thing failure i work hard because i never could ask anybody for anything so me i don't 
know how it is to have help. So I work hard. It motivates me to work hard because I'm used to people saying no. I'm used to people saying no. I'm not used to people saying yes. I'm used to people saying no. So that's that motivates me to work even harder, to, to go harder, to push harder, to strive harder, to be better, to be unstoppable because I don't want to have to ask anybody for help even though everybody says you're going to have to ask people for help anytime in life yes you are but that's not something I want to do <laughs> but you know I, I I there's goals that I want and there's things that I want in life that I really want so I'm very passionate and affectionate about those things so if I if I get roadblocks I get a little deterred and I get a little a little angry because I I work hard to get to everything I want and everything I want in life. So that's what motivates me to work hard. <laughs> if you got all that, that was a lot. Um, what makes you laugh the most? You guys, I don't even know what question this is right now. I think I'm on question four. We're gonna say four. This is five. This is question five. Okay. Question five, question five. What makes you laugh the most? Great energy. I like to laugh. So me, I'm a laugher. I like to make people laugh. I like to joke. I like to have fun. I like to enjoy things. And I like to, I like to be goofy. So I like, you know, just to, to think of positive energy. I love positive energy around me. So when people sit there negative and all that, 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 that that's one thing that gets me crazy too. I love positive energy. I love people that, I love people when you walk in a room, they sit there with a smile on their face. That's me. I like that. I love that. That's something that makes me go, okay, hey, what's up? I hate when you walk in a room and people got a frown. That's that's the one thing for me because I can just feel the energy and I just go like, ah, you know, so I think that's what makes you laugh the most. And what makes me laugh, that didn't even answer the question, y'all. I didn't even answer the question of what makes me laugh the most. Um, I ain't gonna lie, uh, a good joke, a good a good eye contact when you know what you know what you saw when you saw when you seen it when you seen when you seen it you know and whoever know what i just said they know because they seen it with me and they laughed hard as hell with me <laughs> you know <laughs> okay y'all um question number six what does your child oh i ain't got no kid uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, next question. <laughs> if you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, I'm a greedy, 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 greedy man. But that's a hard question, but easy for me because I have a favorite food. So if I could eat only one meal, so they're giving me a plate. Okay, so it's a plate. So I got to have fried chicken. Fried chicken got to be on there for the rest of my life. Fried chicken I can do just as long as it's, it's good fried. You know, it just depends on where you get the fried chicken from because I can eat fried chicken every day. Um, ooh, I got to have some bacon on that plate. <laughs> so put the fried chicken, some bacon. Um, uh that's hard because I like, oh my gosh, shrimp. Man, mine would be just a plate of meat. Just give me a plate of meat. I'm good, you know, and then a leaf. <laughs> no, my vegetables would be a fried green tomato. <laughs> That's a hard question. Um, give me fried chicken, some groups. Ooh. Well, so, so I can cut the bacon out. So this is how, this is what I do because I love cabbage. So I'll put all the bacon in the cabbage. So I'll have fried chicken, cabbage with a bunch of bacon in there. Okay, and then, um, well, I like Brussels sprouts too. Throw some bacon on that sucker too, you know what I'm saying? Bacon over there too. Uh, that could be the vegetable. Uh, and my dessert would be my mama's pound cake. There we go. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm. In two years, I see myself producing. I want to be a producer. That's my goal. That is my, that's my dream. That is my aspiration. That's what I want to be. Is I want to be a producer of, of TV. So if 
your favorite shows you see on TV, that's what I want to produce. Um, that's what I'm going to say because I want to see if they have a job question. And I'll talk about that with my job. Okay, I'll do that as my next question. Okay, so question number seven. What do you do? Um, okay. Well, if you guys see in my my end credits, I do put my credits of what I do do. I am what you call a location manager. So what that does is when you see your favorite movie that's filmed in a town that is definitely not where you where the story was taking place at that's who I am I'm the guy that comes in and the guy that comes in and makes it look like that so they give me the script I go around everywhere and make it look like what it's supposed to look like and I ask the director to come with me see if they like what they see to make sure that this is what their vision is of their movie of their of their show or whatever they're trying to watch that's what I do um and then after that I have to make sure that the extras the crew everybody has a place to park place to eat place to sit place to piss place to shit place to <laughs> place to cry place to smoke place to you know I have to make sure the place is safe safe for the entire crew I have to make sure that police i have to make sure i have security i have to make sure i have permits i have to make sure i have everything ready for people to come on set that that's what i do and that's kind of like that's my steps to being a producer because the producer is you're in charge of all that see right now i'm just in charge of getting people to set i'm making sure people have a place to go to for set and things like that so as a producer i want to be the person to make sure you have a place to go to film you know you have a film to come come to you know what i mean so that's that's my goal in life in my next five years okay so we're gonna get a little bit to my style okay i know people are gonna hate this one so uh how many pair of shoes do you own i actually own like a bunch of pair of shoes but i don't wear none uh i wear a size 16 so my shoes are not pretty. They're not that good looking when they when you when they get to my size. You know what I mean? Um, you really gotta. So I I probably wear about a couple like six seven. I love flip flops and I love socks. <laughs> I love sandals. Sandals are my favorite. Well, like you know, athletic sandals. Not the no. I don't like thongs. I don't like putting my toes in no thongs. My toes don't go in thongs. Uh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, is your glass half full or half empty? Yeah, my glass is it's half full. It's half. It's half full. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm almost a half cup of glass. I don't like that question because I don't even get it. Um. What do you do to keep fit? I go to the gym every day. I'm a gym head, you guys. That is my number one thing. If I can't get a video, that's because I went to the gym instead. <laughs> I was like, ah, am I going to edit or am I going to go to the gym? Uh, gym me up. Yes, yes, yes. I love the gym. I just want to be healthy. Um, I used to be a real big boy. I used to be like 280 pounds fat. Boobies was just bouncing everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I could shake and things would shake with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that one bit. But once I got to the point where I knew that I didn't like that, I was in that gym. And I've been in the gym ever since to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I don't jiggle too much. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I ain't trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to be the nutty professor either. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, okay, let's go. Okay, so what is the, what was your first job? Okay, so my first job was, I'm from a country, so I'm from Illinois, we're country, you know what I'm saying? And when I say country, we're country, so 
my first job actually you know my first job was actually every kid's first job and that's a newspaper i used to deliver newspapers every day get off school we got to go to deliver newspapers so i guess to say that would be my first job but after that as my first job as myself as going out in the world as a 14 year old i had to tassel corn i was a corn to tassel i'd go out in the fields and we pour the pull the top of the corn out so that the females can so the males can pollinate the female corn so the corn would grow so yes we had to pull out the pull off the panties of the corn so the men can go bang the corn yeah that's what we did y'all that's what i had to do as my first job who knows you the best my best friend samantha my best friend knows me the best she's been my best friend since i was seventh grade and she's my best friend to this day her kids are my god kids they're like my that, that's my sister that's my best friend that's her yep <laughs> she know me the best <laughs> that's my ninth oh was that 10 because i'm gonna do another one but this one's only 10 this is my first one you know what i'm saying you guys uh my last question on this one for you guys just for my first one i'm gonna do a bunch of these because these can get pretty long on a scale of one to ten how funny do you see yourself it depends right now on here sometimes i don't see myself as funny i be trying to be funny but sometimes i don't see myself as funny but when i'm out in public i feel like i'm funny but when i'm here on here i be trying to get some funny so i need somebody in here to bring out my funny because i need somebody to talk to to make me a little funny you know what i'm saying because i feel like i don't be as funny for y'all because i think i should be having y'all dying crying laughing and on a flow and y'all should be subscribing and checking out my channel every day whenever i post something because y'all know that i'm funny you know what i'm saying that's what i'm Ooh, I got glitter. I'm shining like a diamond. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Like, subscribe, y'all. Hey, you guys, that was my first top 10 get to know me. I got a couple more of these videos coming out, y'all. But I think my phone about to die. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to let it shine. I'm going to finish out the video before it die. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, hey, I didn't charge it, y'all. I didn't charge it. I'm sorry. But y'all, this is Isaiah, y'all. That is a get to know me, y'all. Please, 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 please like, subscribe, you guys. I have t-shirts coming that I'm going to be pushing, you guys, that I love, you know. They're called, my, my new little, new little push I'm going to do is called Mr. No Mo, Mr. Nice Guy. You guys will see. Coming soon. Let's go. I'm out. Still kid, finally left the stoop yeah. Got to know myself and realized on the truth I walked outside with a brand new dude Man, I'm feeling brand new, new me, who you? Still kid, finally left the stoop Got to know myself and realized on the truth I walked outside with a brand new dude Man, I'm feeling brand new, new me, who you? Another scar, mean the blessing come in, baby huh? Yeah, another scar, mean the blessing come in, baby huh? Let's go Two blessings on my shoes. Yeah.